Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how to use Superpower Chat GPT prompt history. Um, before we start, let's get show you how to get Superpower Chat GPT. You go to Google Superpower Chat GPT. You search for it. You click on the first link, and it will send you to this page. There's a button that says add to Chrome. You click on that button and it will send you, uh, it will install um, the extension on your browser. Once you install the extension, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page. I'm just gonna do it again. And you'll see that all the extra features like search, folder, you can see I already have a few folder here, the top nav bar, this thing here, um, prompt history, all of these features start to show up in your um, chat GPT interface and uh, you can start using them. So in this video, we want to talk about this button here, my prompt history. Make, remember the prompt history, when we talk about prompt, we are specifically talking about your input into your into chat GPT. We call those prompt. There is also a thing called conversation history, which is all the conversation that you make. When we say conversation history, we are referring to all of your chat. This is your conversation history. And prompt history is only the prompt that you entered into chat GPT. Sometimes you uh, are looking for a prompt that you have used in the past and you don't wanna go look at every conversation. So you can just look at your prompt history and find the prompt that you that you have used uh, in the past. So to use the prompt history, uh, you can click on this button and it will open this window. You have my prompt history at the top. There's a search box and there are two different tabs here. There is the favorite tab and then there is the all tab. If you click on the all tab, it will load all of your prompt history. If you click on the favorite tab, it will load your favorite um, prompt. Uh, so I'll show you how to mark uh, prompt as favorite. So there's a list here. This list contain every single prompt that you have ever used. As long as you have not deleted the extension, you'll, you can find your prompts in here. Um, you can delete these prompt from here if you want to. Um, but even if you delete a conversation from your history, you will still have access to this, to the prompt in the prompt history. So let's say you have deleted the conversation that you created in the past, but now you find yourself wanting a, a, a prompt from that conversation. You don't have that conversation anymore, but you can go here and search up here for the prompt and like, I don't know, JavaScript, for example, and it will automatically filter and it also adds, does the like uh, highlighting here for the work that you're looking for. And it will like show you uh, all the prompts that have that word in them. So that's an easy way to find a prompt that you have used in the past. You um, can, uh, when, you're, when, once, when, when you're looking at your prompt, you see three buttons here. There's a button that says use, delete, and uh, share in community, community prompt. I'll talk about the community prompt in another video later, but um, I'm gonna show you the use and delete. So you can del click on delete and then confirm the delete and it will remove the prompt for you. I'm gonna do it for this one prompt, just remove that prompt from here. You can also click on the use. Uh, clicking on the use will automatically um, put the prompt in the input box in box and allow you to edit it. So if I just click on this use, it adds the prompt right here. And I can edit the prompt and um, use it in a different way. But if I want to immediately um, run the prompt, I can go to the prompt history and I can shift click on here. You can see there is a text that hover over the button when I, when I go uh, hover over the use button. That says shift click to run the prompt without editing. If I click on use, uh, which holding down shift, I'm gonna do that right now. It will automatically like put it in there and submit the button, uh, submit the prompt in the um, in the uh, input. Now um, there is also a way to for you to um, 
mark some of your prompts as favorite. Let's say there are some prompts that you really like and you want to like it more, like you want to make it easier for you to find those prompts. You can just click on this bookmark icon and it will like anything you click on, it will be added under the favorite tab. And you can you can like remove them from the favorite tab by um, clicking on the um, bookmark icon again, and it won't be a favorite uh, prompt anymore. So that's a way to indicate like your favorite prompts. Um, you can um, there are a uh, few buttons down here. I'm going to talk about those buttons. So we have a button here that says delete none favorite, meaning that. A lot of the time, you use a prompt that is not like that is special, or you don't you don't want that prompt. Um, you can first mark the prompt that you like as favorite. Once you have all the favorite prompt, then you can click on this button, and it will remove anything that is not a favorite prompt. I do recommend doing this often because you don't want like you can see I have a very long list of prompts, and you don't want to like you don't want to let that to happen you don't want to have a very very long list because that could potentially affect the performance of um, the prompt history loading it wouldn't affect the performance of um, like using chat GPT but it can affect the performance of just loading the prompt history so try to mark your favorite prompt as favorite and remove the non favorite prompt as often as possible also there are two other buttons here. There is an export all and then there is an import prompt. If you click on export all, it will basically save a copy of every single prompt in your in your um, prompt history, not just your favorite, all, all the prompt in your uh, prompt history into your computer. And you can later use the import prompt to bring those prompts back into your computer. Another thing you can do if you're using two different computer and you want your prompt, uh, you want to like use the prompt that you have on one computer into another computer, you can just export the prompt here and then go to another computer and then use the import prompt and select the file that you exported from your first computer to load all of the prompt into the second computer. It's a good way to share prompt between different devices or different people if you want to share your prompt with other people. If you click on the favorite, you can, if you notice down here, the export all turns into export favorite. So if you wanna just export your favorite prompt, you can just go to the favorite and then click on the export favorite and it will export only your favorite prompt into a file. And then you can go to another computer, click on import and it will import those um, prompt as favorite prompt into the other computer. So this is how you use the uh, prompt history um, set menu here. Like I, we talked about the favorite prompt, all prompt. We talked about the search. We talked about how to use these buttons, how to mark buttons as favorite, how to delete all of your prompt. And there is one more thing. Um, most people might not have noticed this, but Every time, so the way the prompt history works is every time you type something here and submit it, uh, your prompt will be added into the uh, prompt history. If you use a prompt that already exists in the prompt history, you won't have that prompt twice. All it does is it will add that prompt to the top of the list. So if I like, for example, if I say hi here, and go to the prompt history, I have hi right here. Now, if I go here and say, how are you? Submit that, then go to the prompt history, I'll see how are you at the top. Now, if I go back and say hi again, we don't, we won't, uh, see too high. We just see that old high moving to the top of the list. As you can see, the high that we had there before is now moved that to the top of the list. So the prompt history is smart enough to look in your history and see if that prompt already exists in there. If it does, it will just remove the old one and add the new one to the top of the list. So that's uh, one small thing about this. Another thing about 
the input is that you can very easily browse through your prompt history by using the up and down arrow button. So if I go here and press up, hi was the last prompt that I used. If I keep pressing up, how are you? I'm just, I'm not typing anything. I'm just using the up arrow button to like go to the previous prompt. And that's how I can just um, go through my prompt history back and forth. I can go up and down uh, one by one and it will just, if I press down, it will go to to the most recent one. If I press up, it will just go to the last one. Uh, most, uh, the not the most recent one, the oldest one. So that's how you can very easily um, go back and forth between between your uh, previous prompt. This feature, although it's very small, but it's very useful when you're trying to, for example, you submitted a prompt, maybe even a long prompt, you got the result, but you don't like the result and you want to change your input prompt slightly. Like you just want to make an edit in, in your prompt and rerun it. One way is to just go up here and like edit it and like resubmit it. The other way is to just press up and very quickly load that prompt here, make your edit and submit it and get the get a different response from that. So that's another way to browse through your prompt um, without even having to open the prompt history. I actually very rarely open the prompt history unless I'm looking for a specific prompt. And most of the time, all I do is just use the up and down arrow button on the keyboard to just go back and forth between like the prompt that I, I use. So this is prompt history. Um, hope you like it. Uh, there will be more uh, features added to the prompt history in the coming weeks or months. I'm planning to like uh, upgrade, update all the prompt history and the community prompt in the coming weeks. So there will be more feature added there. We'll have probably more like categories, folders, tabs, those type of things. But until then, this is just a simple version of the prompt history. Give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you.